All right, folks, how are we doing? Welcome to a brand new video. And this was a bit poop. Um, I would use another word. Nope. Um, to be honest, because it, I, I, I had high hopes for this race, and that's always a mistake, right? Because your expectations are up here, and they never meet them, right? Never meet your heroes. It's a good circuit. I really enjoyed the fix setup on it. It was really, really fun around there. And, and, and then we came to this race, and I was P8, my PC sort of froze for like 10 seconds, which was annoying. Uh, somehow we carried on going um, without hitting anything, which to, is, is, is I need to enter the lottery. Very, very lucky. And then we were just in no man's land after that. And then we had one little battle with a guy where I found out what dirty air was. Nope. Horrendous. Uh, and it just like we caught him up. We got into the dirty air. We dropped back again. We caught him up. And it was just that. It was, I can't. I say it on the like live commentary. I was like, I can't overtake him. I can't get close enough to actually slipstream him in the slightest. I just found it really, really dull. You need like a massive lap delta difference if you want to overtake someone around here. I just found it very, very difficult. And because of that, it was kind of boring. So if you do uh, make it all the way through, well done. You deserve a medal. But towards the end, I do get very angry, which can be quite entertaining. So go ahead and watch that if you want. Angry me, which is always quite funny. But yeah, otherwise, this race is pretty dull, if I'm honest. But with these races, I always show them good or bad. It's the first race of the week. Good or bad, what happens? It always gets uploaded uh, because you guys can see where the incidents are happening and where the problem areas are. So hopefully that helps your races out. So yeah, if you do like it, uh, well, you're not going to like it, to be honest, because it's boring. But if you do appreciate me making these videos, uh, even though they're boring, um, like and subscribe for that benefit. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to bugger off. And uh, yeah, yeah, go get a cup of tea or a hot chocolate and have a good nap. I will catch you bit later on. Not the best start because I was messing around with crew chief there. <laughs> that is not a good start. But it's okay, we get to watch the carnage. Wee! Wee! Oh, there's a spinner there! Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm scared. Right, let the tires warm up. Don't hit that sausage curb. Did that car just explode? That was interesting. I'm glad I went to the inside there. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, lap one. We survived, just about. That was a bit early on the old brakes. That's a little bit wide. There's a silly, stupid, stupid, stupid off track there. It's so ridiculous. It, it's painful. So is this turn five. Trust the tyres, they will come back at some point this century. Very, very slippery um, major setup this week. Oh, oh, he's on the old brakes, isn't he? Oh, 
Oh, there was a car there. Maybe we got damage. He's understeering a lot. That was a weird one. Oh, well, P8 somehow. Nice. Oh my goodness. Did you see that freeze? Did you? <laughs> my game just froze like for like five seconds. I'm glad I stopped. Carl looks fine, no damage to report. All right then. No idea what happened there. <laughs> well, that fills me with confidence for the rest of the race. Jeez. Oh. How much time did we lose? 10 seconds. Gotta watch that on the replay to see what actually happened there, because that was freaky as anything. I thought my computer actually like locked up then it wasn't going to come back to me. Oh well, got some work to do now. We were P8 and now we're what? P11. So we lost three places. Got plenty of fuel so it should be good. I'm more annoyed about the off track, to be honest. I need safety. of catching up with people. Where's that guy going? To see we're in the 22s okay just in the 22s we're not too um slow on pace Thank you very much, Chris. That's not an off track by raising. I don't know what it is with that curve. It is bumpy on the inside. Need to be doing quicker than that, really.
That's not the corner to try and um, push. Put it that way. That is the wrong corner to do on. that gravel trap it really hurts right still a t oh, that's 23 flat we're getting slower we're actually losing time to the people ahead as well which is not good Onto treasure base. Do not cut that corner too much, by the way. There is a horrible slowdown. Now that is more like it. That is not more like it. Looks like yellow does a curb. Plenty dangerous sausage curb. I do like that last corner. It's a very, very fun last corner. try and break later there you stupid boy it encourages you that corner it really is hateful oh I didn't like that corner either Too much uh, braking on there and turning, just under steering wide. Getting slower, that's not good.
Turn your car! Turn! Good car. Easy, you crap little sausage on exit trying to kill me. Getting better. We're improving slowly. We're into the 21s just. Yeah, the tires there, but uh, a little bit of sideways. I'm gonna try something stupid. Oh dear, that's a terrible corner. I tried it in third. Lost a lot of time through that. question is where do we use the boost I've been pondering that for the past few days no idea do I think coming out the hairpin then we've got small acceleration zones and then a big one That's bad luck for Zach. I'm gonna get some lovely dirty air now. Max. Almost I broke myself. Jeez, it's actually quite difficult to follow.
push there. Wasted, wasted overtake. I can't overtake. <laughs> oh, you just get. Oh, that. He's off similar pace to me, I think. But literally, just the dirt, yeah, ruined you. That might be a slowdown. He's so good at them last few corners. Yeah, really struggling around there. It's kind of been a bit of a boring race, isn't it? Yeah, very similar on pace, and I cannot follow him. He does get them last few corners. He's absolutely nailing them, but cannot follow him any closer than this. And I do a massive lockup. Yeah, I'm not going to run this too much this week because I'm pretty bored. I don't know about you. Feel free to skip ahead. Oh, well done, crew chief. You're losing to the car in front of you. Yeah, that's because I had a massive lockup in turn one. You special person. Yeah, leaders are in the 21s. I'm rocking mid 22s slash low 22s. Relatively dif difficult to overtake of someone of similar pace. Yes. I thought this, I mean, yes, it's the first race, <clears throat> but I thought this was going to be more fun than it actually is. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because I normally like Barcelona. But, like, the car was bloody... Like, in his dirty air, it, it was so difficult. And then you can't get close, or I couldn't get close, in the last three corners because he was either nailing them or I couldn't take them because of said dirty air, which I'm going to use as a Drazen Driver excuse. But, yeah, I found that a real struggle.
Oh, that, that's going to be an off track. Oh, thanks. That's a bit harsh. up turn one. <laughs> yeah, I'm annoyed now. I'm annoyed. Still got eight laps to go. Fingers crossed we get some nice freebies. P1's at the stop. P1's going down there. We're well behind. That was too deep. Was that someone free in the pits? I think we're P9. I need to sneeze. This is a really bad time to want to sneeze. Direct. Oh, it's not an off track.
back off, car. I'm not a happy bunny. Oh, I'm really not a happy bunny. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you were going and then not going and then going. That was stupid. Ah! I, I thought he was going to come on the line and then he sort of didn't go anywhere. He just stopped and I thought, go! Saw him go wide. I thought, oh, I might have a good chance here with a bit of slipstream. But then he sort of didn't didn't go. I thought he's on the track, that's fine, I'll follow him through, and then all of a sudden he seemed to have stopped in front of me. Apologies to Zach, that is not my intention to give you a little cheeky tickle like that. I think it was a bit more of a tickle considering he's in the pit. Well that just pretty sums up this shitty race, doesn't it? Not only am I a little bit off pace, overtaking of someone of similar pace seems to be nigh on impossible particularly with the setups that we've got at the moment, because the dirty air was... I've never felt dirty air like that, to be honest, which is why I'm even more shocked. Massive rant video this is going to be. Um, that's not an off-track eye racing. Eye racing, sort that out. It's a ridiculous off-track. Mm. Got 11x. Three of them are uh, bloody same place. Yeah, I'm not going to run this for the rest of the week, just so everyone knows, because I am not having fun. This is a bad combo. It's literally follow the leader for God knows how many laps and waiting for mistakes, which is boring. Well, I hope I hope you guys are entertained of me having a run. 11x is... That's honestly ridiculous. I was happy with 2x at the start, but still... Yeah, not a happy bunny. This combo sucks. It's been good tracks all week, all season. And then this one is the worst one by a mile. Mainly because I don't like it. That's going to be another off track. Oh, no, it isn't. Thank you, iRacing Gods. I kept two tyres on the track and you've dealt it professionally and like you should. I don't like taking people out. It's not nice. <sighs> How long are this? Oh, I've got two more laps. Joy. Freebies? No, not freebies. Stop your bloody car! I swear the fix set was better than these open setups. I'm just angry now. <laughs>
White flag? Please make this be white flag. No, it fucking isn't white flag. I've miscalculated it. I've got to do another lap. Joy. It's not very often I find a really bad car. This is making me as angry as what I would be in a GT3. That's how, that's how angry I am. I am GT3 levels of anger. I really don't like GT3s, by the way. Thank goodness I only need to go around there one more time now. Sucks that corner. And that's corner. Oh, you didn't give me an off track that time. Good job I'm not going to get lapped. He's only 17 seconds behind. See, how rubbish is this? The countdown timer for the damn boost is still going. Come on, you piece of rubbish. White flag! Oh, I'm so happy. I can go and put this in the bin. I don't even care not using the boost, actually. I'm the last one to cross the line, aren't I? So, And I'm not going to get past this lap, let's be honest. This has been, by far, one of my worst races that I've actually survived. It's not been my worst races of, sort of like, where I've got killed or been killed or done some killing. But yeah, it's, I've, I've... Yeah. First of all, that massive, great, like, 10-second freeze obviously wasn't good. And then just didn't have the pace in the slightest. And then when we did have catch up with that dude, Zach, we sort of, like, couldn't close up enough to benefit from the slipstream, which I was very shocked about. Particularly in these cars. I'm surprised the dirty air affected it that much. But hey-ho, is what it is. Good riddance, SF. I've enjoyed you this season, but I'm not going to enjoy you this week. Because you're a pile of poop. What a shambles that was. Right, so let's have a nosy. So this was in P8 at this time. So the game was still running. I was just locked out. So it was local then because I've got the entire replay look. How lucky am I, right, that I had a massive PC freeze. And yet. I put it on the grass, came to a stop and didn't hit anything. I'm, I'm flabbergasted at that. Right, let's go have a nosy. When did I murder matey boy? Let's go to matey boy. I do apologize, Zach. It is, uh... Not my intentions to kill people. So he gets a wiggle on here. Goes wide. He's on the gravel. I thought it was off the gravel. He just doesn't seem to go anywhere. Look at his speed now. 79, 70, 75. He holds his throttle because he's just, he's letting me go. And I thought he was going to accelerate. I've still come around there way too quickly though. I've literally nudged him though. Oh, what? I didn't touch him. I did then. 
I didn't touch it the first time. That netcode may have slowed me down a little bit, so he may have already going to hit him. But yeah, it's it's. I thought it was going to take off a bit quicker than that, so I, I thought I was going to have more time to sort of go up behind him and then round him, rather than him sort of be right there at that point. I thought it was going to be maybe half a car length down the road, because I, I thought at this point, from my cockpit, I was like, right, you're on the road now, you're going to accelerate, and he just sort of didn't, and then he's there. See, I was sort of thinking he was going to be down here at this point. It is my fault completely. I've hit him up the rear end when he was just trying to do the nice thing there. So, sorry to Zach. Um, do apologise to him because I did kill him. Uh, right, should we go look at lap one? Because that was shenanigans, wasn't it? Uh, Chase. Right, lap one. We uh, we just apologised to Zach. We thought we, well, we thought we'd be further down the road. And he just quit as well, so he didn't say anything back. What happened on lap one? Did we have carnage? We did have carnage almost by me there. A little bit snug. Oh, we did have a little bit of a tickle tickle there. Yeah, we had big carnage up here. Right, what happened to you, peeps? Oh, this is our new best friend, Zach, that we've accidentally... Oh, he just had the door closed on him completely. Oh, how lovely. And then the Aston gets caught up. Oh, dear. That's a bad day. Oh, Zach was the one. That oh, hold your break, Zach. Oh. Zach, hold your brakes. Yeah, if he'd rolled back, he would have taken out another three cars and destroyed his own race there. He would have destroyed my race and all, but hey-ho. Right, did anything else on lap on one, or was this the most boring race in the history of the world? Oh, uh, we died by... Oh, yeah, 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 what happened to these dudes? Yeah, they sort of rear-ended each other. Yeah, he's literally just punted him up the rear end. Did this guy break, like, massively early? I wouldn't say so. That's a bit of a weird one. Got two places there. Right then, so after that disappointing show, I'm uh, I'm very, very annoyed with myself, to be really honest. That I thought this was going to be more exciting than it actually was. Uh, it was pretty dull, in my opinion. Uh, if you did make it all the way through, well done. You deserve a medal, because even I was falling asleep there. But you have seen angry me get really frustrated at things. So... That could be entertaining enough. Anywho, uh, yeah, if you did make it through, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sure races will go better than this. This is like the bottom of the barrel races. Um, yeah, I'm not going to race this first season. I didn't enjoy that in the slightest. It's a great track and a great car. They just don't work together for whatever reason. I, I found overtaking, particularly on that one guy who was similar level to us, uh, lap time wise, uh, the dirty air which is possible i got like within four tenths of him just understeer tail wagon all over the place and then got point point six point seven. i was happy there but the odd mistake would come in and things like that and i just i just yeah if you can't overtake and, and follow cars and it's going to be like a bit crap um so you're just waiting for mistakes so yeah i'm going to leave this uh give this a miss this week um yeah it's the last week so annoyingly that's going to leave a bit of taste for the rest of the uh week about the sf because we've had some good races this season and this one just seems to be a little bit poop um right otherwise thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe as mentioned and i'll catch you on the next one